came into the hangar this morning and got some really good news. We got a package. Let me turn this around. So Jan, what are you doing? Right now I'm unwinding the uh, pull cable for the emergency main gear unlock latching that they sent to us. So here's what we got in the mail. We got two sets of these. He's the, here's the pull cable and here's the sheath for it and these are some attaching parts when we get ready to put it in. Jan's got one all unraveled and uh, we'll see about getting this installed in the airplane and this is great news because that means we can continue on finally getting the wings buttoned up this is something we've been waiting for for months anyway that's great news jan it is good news glad to have these here so now we get busy again that's right so we got another box that we just opened and in it it contained some of the vacuum hoses that we needed to finish the the vacuum system here in the nose. We got a bunch of hardware and we also got this DC AC inverter that will allow us to power instruments that are specific needs of this kind of voltage. So Bob and John will get those those kind of parts installed. We'll carry on with what we're doing. We got stuff to do. So that's exciting. Okay, we've got the one cable threaded through the wing, and I'll take you up and show that here in a minute. But I also wanted to highlight something else that's been going on. Let me turn this around. So this is one of our pilot seats. And one of our volunteers that's been helping us with the seats and the seat belts, Kenneth, came up with getting these pilot seat seat belts ready to go. We still need to get some shoulder harnesses because here's the, uh, the friction reel for the shoulder harnesses. Hopefully we'll get that done and that'll be one more thing off the tick list. But let me walk up. Okay, so we've been working on this first uh, cable, emergency uplock cable. And let me show you what we've done here. So one of the things that Dave and Jan have impressed upon me over the years is the need to make sure that there aren't collisions and chafing issues. Well, in its previous life, this was just a loose cable. This plastic wasn't even here. This plastic is to keep things from falling down in here. Also gives you a bird's eye view of the menagerie of cables and pulleys and hydraulic lines and we've done a lot of work in here it looks really pretty and so I really want people to see it so we made up these panels now we've had to make some alterations like I said this plastic wasn't here so this came straight across here and it was out here open for people to get a hold of and not a good thing so We've put this under here. We'll fill in that. That's where the hole used to be. Um, this is nice and free to move. We've tied it in several places back here. So it's uh, anti-chafed. And we still have to get a grommet for it to pass through this hole. Then we've got several places along this leading edge that we've got to secure it. So after it gets through there, we'll secure it here, here, probably another one here. Then it goes under the wing skin here, turns the corner right here, be held down there and under there. And then we still have to make a, a bracket similar to this but this is for the other wing we were just testing things so and that'll turn it down to grab the handle for the release so we'll get all that done and we'll get back to you okay we started laying out the cable 
ties for outside the wing root. So instead of putting a grommet in that hole, we created a standoff so it could be firmly held in place, won't move around. Another standoff, or a, yeah, standoff there, a standoff there. It goes through here. There'll be a clamp right here. And now I've got this clamp down and clamp down. Still need to create the, the turn down uh, part for that. And we'll have the right wing pretty well installed. We still need to get a uh, clevis crimped onto the end of the cable. I'll show you that in a minute. It's Friday morning, a hot Friday morning here in Utah. It's supposed to get really hot today, and I have a funny story to share with you. When I was here working on these cables the other day, I'm, hold on, I'm bare knees, and I was laying down on, the, had my knees down here trying to fit all this stuff, and I was so sweaty, <laughs> you can see the sweat, and I kept sliding off of the airplane. <laughs> anyway, we'll try not to have that happen today. Let me show you what Jan's done. Okay, so he got this new phenolic capture for the cable. Still have to do some more machine work to put an inset here so the cable can ride in this. And then that will tell us exactly how long, how much trimming we need to do on the cable there in order to have it hook up to the uplock bell crank. And in the meantime, in the meantime, Jan has started getting this left wing cable, starting to get it routed. We'll see if we can get that done today and then we'll know exactly how long these cables need to be. And then we can get the uh, threaded ends swedged on and then final installation. So uh, I was talking about the pilot seats last week. I want to introduce you to another one of our crew. Let me turn this around. This is Kenneth. Kenneth Hi. has been instrumental in, why don't you tell us what you've been doing here, Kenneth? On this project, man. I've been with it since the beginning and I started with a box full of Q-tips and acetone and started cleaning the airframe. Just wait until the end of Jan is overdoing what Jan does best. He's making parts. And making noise. Making noise. Okay, anyway, Kenneth. Alright. Nope, not yet. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> So we graduated from Q-tips to uh, more effective means and instruments of uh, uh, old tar removal. The tar was in the airframe in order to deaden vibrations and sound. So we did most all of the flight deck, all of the uh, main cabin where uh, all of our passengers or riders will sit um, and got that cleaned up and prepped and ready for the paint. So if you've seen interior shots of all the nice green uh, structure in the in the aircraft in the fuselage, uh, that's all a result of hundreds of hours of removing sprayed on rubbery, tarry uh, soundproofing. And it looks awesome. It so does. what are you doing right now? Okay, we're working on a seatbelt system, a modern five-point harness that's being attached to these existing uh, pilot and co-pilot seats. So uh, these are commercial aircraft rated uh, harness systems, pilot and co-pilot restraint systems. And uh, we found the location on these seats for the lap belts. We've okay. installed the center or the crotch belt Okay. And uh, then we'll uh, finish up with either installing a Y belt or two individual belts over the shoulders. Okay. And those will be attached to the, the framework of the seat 
uh, so that we meet or exceed the original specs of this assembly. The original must have had a Y belt on it for the shoulders and it was attached to the spring-loaded reel. The spring-loaded reel would allow you to lean forward and back and it would just take up the slack. Or if you were flying in turbulent weather and didn't want to bounce around and bounce up and down out of your seat, you can lock that. You can lock that reel and so it doesn't do anything but it'll click backwards and go in but it won't come back out. Okay. So you can cinch that down on your shoulders and hold yourself into the seat pretty good. And then you've been doing a lot of work in the cabin, lights and seating. You Correct. Want, you want to Correct. talk about that? Sure. Shall we go over there? Okay. So we're in the cabin, and we've been in here before, and, and you've met John, and John's explained a lot of the lighting that goes on in here, but uh, and their job has been primarily focused on the outside and providing wiring for this, but the guy responsible for the interior is Kenneth, reclining in his <laughs> his seats that he's also been responsible for. So tell us about it there, Kenneth. Well, over the many years that I've been involved in this project, I've also been uh, working at a local uh, airline re uh, overhaul shop, and through that shop has come many pieces of, of airplanes, pieces, parts that uh, no longer met their criteria and went into the recycle bin. And I kept an eye out for those and uh, uh, accumulated over the years enough spare parts to rebuild these seats so that we could mount them in here. We used uh, modern mounting systems just like in the commercial airliners, what we call floor track some people call it brown line, um, but that gives us adjustability in one inch increments to position the seats. We also have the seats uh, firmly bolted to the structure of the, of the airframe with that same one inch increment adjustability. It takes a couple of bolts pulling out and repositioning the seat and then putting those bolts back in, but we've got, we've got some flexibility on that. So we could turn this into a cargo plane. <laughs> we could. We could pull all the seats out and load it up with cargo. As long as we meet the balance yep. criteria, we're good to go. Okay. Well, thanks, Kenneth. Anything else you want to say about what you've done? Here? Well, let me show you. He's He's been steadily working. This is where he was talking about. See that black tar there? It was all over this, and it was just nasty. He's cleaned so much of it out, and now it's uh, he's created these these light uh, for the aisleways and getting them wired up and hopefully we're getting close to buttoning up this interior and getting ready to start this thing. Anyway, thanks Kenneth. All right, you bet. All right, we've done pretty well here. Still have to attach that to the wing root. Got a clamp here, a clamp here, a clamp here. And then we ran out of clamps, so we'll have those in next week and we'll finish getting this installation done. Okay, uh, it's the end of the week. Got quite a bit done. It's just little things and each one of them is tedious and takes time. But I uh, appreciate you guys coming along and watching the, the journey that we're making. And we're getting ever closer. Thanks for watching. Be sure to uh, subscribe and like and share and all that stuff and uh leave a comment I, I i read every comment and i really appreciate the the comments and suggestions so uh you guys have a great day and we'll see you on the next one so last week i introduced you to brett Prusso, and he dropped his first video this morning on uh building a scale model of our airport I'm going to leave a link to that in the description below. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be fantastic. Anyway, there you go.